hello thank you so much for clicking my video and today's video this wig is brought to you by hair so fly shop i'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also the direct store the brand of the wig that i have today is ultra i have one of the perfect hairline wigs the style that i have is ella in the color two this is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a 13 by 4 parting space. Behind the parting space, you get two combs in the front, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted a elastic band so you can get an extra secure fit. At the top, it's a faux scalp. The faux scalp can be removed. And the texture of the hair to me is on the silky side. Next time I do a video for a faux scalp wig, I'll be sure to show you guys how I remove it. The hairline on this wig comes pre-plucked and you also get baby hairs. The wig also comes with a shine, but later on I go in and dim down the shine. I'll show you guys how I do that later. With this wig, I would like to do a right side part. Also remember you get a lot of parting space, so you could do a right, middle, or left part. After I part the hair, I feel like it's kind of flying back over. So in order to get it flat, I'm going in with my Andis hot comb and the temperature that I have it on is number five. And I'm just pressing out the roots of the hair. Just a reminder, you do not have to style your wig this way. I'm just showing you guys what I do just in case you're interested in how I got my end results. Right here, I'm just plucking some more hair from the forehead. It made a little bit of a difference, not much of a big difference, so you don't have to go in and do this. To help dim down the shine on the hair, I'm going in with this Canra Volume Dry Shampoo and I just spray it all over the hair. After combing the hair with a wide tooth comb, this was the amount of shedding I got. And this right here is the amount of hair I plucked from the forehead of the hairline. The stocking cap I am wearing underneath is a brown nude stocking cap. If you have a really small head, like a 20 inch circumference, then I recommend knotting the end of that elastic band. It just helps it make it more snug. On the inside of the wig, I went ahead and applied some makeup powder underneath the lace, but I only applied it to the hairline and the parting space. After trying on the wig, I noticed that the lace is still coming off really light on my skin. So I go in with this foundation. I usually use this foundation to contour and it's a bit darker than me. But I noticed when I use my actual foundation, the lace is so light that when I put my foundation on it, it makes it look lighter. So I thought if I use something a little darker, it would help and it actually works. So I don't know if it would help somebody else. But that's just what I do. And I like using the powder before I go in because the powder is like a lace tint for me. I don't know if it's going to work for everybody, but look how good that blends in really nicely with my skin. The lace looks so much better on my skin. But to help lay my lace down, I'm going to go in with the Olive Oil Super Hold Spray. And I noticed that the air tab is just a little too long by my ear, so I'm just going to go in and snip some of it off.
For show and tell purpose, I'm just gonna spray one layer on top of the lace and then I go in and blow dry until it's completely dry. You can definitely go in and install the whole hairline of the wig if you want. I am using got to be glue gel to style my baby hairs and at first I was trying to be a little extra and style some baby hairs on my forehead but it was it was a no no right there I was like nah this is not it so I go back in I try another style on my forehead it still wasn't working for me so I just went in later on and just cut off the baby hairs on the forehead Now I'm going to take some Maybelline Fit Me powder and the shade that I have is 355. I take this powder and apply it to the parting space. This helps hide my wig cap underneath and the knots on the wig. Wow, how cute is this wig for every day? I honestly thought I was not going to like this wig. I don't know. It's just something about it I thought I wasn't going to like, but I actually love it. The length of this wig, I would say, is about 12 to 14 inches. My height is 5'6". The density of the hair, to me, is on a thin side, but I like it. I feel like it goes with the style of the wig. This wig do come with a shine, but like I said before, I went in and dimmed down the shine with dry shampoo. I have some stretch cap room left on the inside of the wig so i feel like it's big head friendly also like i said the density of the wig to me is on a thin side at the top certain parts of the wig you can see my wig cap showing underneath is not too bad but it's still noticeable hopefully i could just comb some hair at the top to cover it if not then that sucks because i really like this wig especially in the back the curls just look so official and so nice this looks like a virgin hair dupe when i combed out the wig with the wide tooth comb i got zero tangling as for shedding it was pretty low uh the lace is blending in really nicely with my skin and that's just pretty much it i don't really have any cons to be honest but if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and i get back to them as soon as possible like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video later you guys